I'm Chef Elle. I am here at Whole Foods and I'm ready to show you how to prepare a tomatoes and goat cheese tapas. Let's go through the ingredients. We have sliced shallots and garlic, sweet petite tomatoes, a little sugar, vinegar, our chevrolet cheese logs, plain flour, eggs, panko breadcrumbs, and fresh cracked pepper and salt. So let's get started with the pickling process. The sweet petite tomatoes, there's two parts to this recipe and the pickled tomatoes is just like ketchup for french fries. It's so delicious. The shallots and garlic, a little vinegar, just a pinch of salt and a pinch of sugar. The tomatoes are already sweet and you don't want to mess with that flavor at all. Cook it over medium low heat until the tomatoes just pop for about 10 minutes and you will have the perfect pickled tomatoes. You can see that they've already started to bubble a little, so they're getting hot. So give it about 10 minutes. You really don't have to babysit these. While our tomatoes pickle, let's go ahead and get our cheese ready. So we have our chevrolet cheese log that we actually sliced with dental floss. That is the key to slicing perfect goat cheese because it's so creamy. And we're gonna use the three part dredging, which is flour, egg, and then we're using the panko breadcrumb, which is the Japanese breadcrumb. I like these because these breadcrumbs stay crisp much longer. And with these, you can actually go from frying or to the oven and it will actually be crisp. And this will be the last. We already have some dredge for you. Let it rest. Make sure that your oil is hot. And the best test is to insert a wooden spoon handle into your oil. When you see the tiny bubbles forming around the handle, the oil is the perfect temperature. So let's go ahead and place these in the oil. And you just wanna cook them until they're brown on all sides. And this is something that's quick that you can put together when your friends come over or you have an unexpected guest to arrive. This is a great swap out to the traditional, what is it, like mozzarella cheese logs. This is perfect. You can see the cheese is almost oozing. Just give it a light sprinkle of sea salt. You don't want to over salt the, the cheese. Okay, these are perfect and now it's our time to plate. Yeah. Gonna actually plate these with just putting a few of our pickled tomatoes on the bottom first. It's beautiful. Who needs ketchup when you have something as delicious as this? There. And now, let's add some of the fried goat cheese logs. This is beautiful. And just drizzle just a bit more of our pickled vinegar sauce, just so it soaks into the cheese logs. That's beautiful. And there you have it. A nice fried goat cheese and tomatoes tapas.